So I think that somebody who um, is looking out the window and trying to understand what's happening in the world, uh, just take, for example, the deficit and the debt. Yeah. Um, how, what's going on there? Um, you can have an opinion on it and that's fine, but the reason it's there can be explained by what we call in public choice and Buchanan's thought. And, you know, part one is who's making the spending decisions. It's, um, legislators and, um, their, their, their responses to what voters want. And, you know, when you accumulate debt, what you're doing is the benefits are going to current people, voters, but the costs are going off onto the future. And in the game of re what legislators respond to, those future voters don't have a seat at the table. Yeah. And this is one of the insights that Buchanan uh, brings up. And actually, it kind of is this sort of council of despair. And mm -hmm. uh, so when uh, there's there's more by, to By it. the way, just to despair a little bit, yeah. the, the February- <laughs> It's worth it sometimes. The February yeah. federal deficit is $234 billion. And I'm old enough to remember when we worried about an annual, an annual budget, budget deficit, deficit of less than $234 billion, and, and that's why we're at $22 trillion and ticking away. So so we're living in a public choice world where we're spending the future yeah. uh, on a daily basis. Yeah, and you know Buchanan was also interested in ethics, and he made the ethical argument about you know laying that on to future generations, stealing from unborn yeah. children. And uh, he's he's this he's this sort of maverick relative to the mainstream, and he's got really good ideas and really good he makes really good points um, to the point where they they can't be ignored, and to the point where they start to be uh, embraced by. Uh, people who are kind of in the mainstream and then to the point where um, the Nobel Committee recognizes it and the reaction at that point which is what you're talking about was um, you know fairly dismissive they said oh well one of the things that that the folks at the New York Times and Washington Post said was well tell me about your rationale for the deficit why why is it there and Buchanan gives his answer and the Washington Post says yeah but that's just common sense does that really deserve a Nobel Prize you know, uh, not the most charitable uh, right, sort of right. congratulatory uh, response there. And then a lot of mainstream economists trying to grapple with the reality that Buchanan's ideas have now been embraced in this way with this highest honor started doing the blame game. Yeah. And they said, oh, well, the committee in Sweden must be somehow you know, off their rocker or, uh, oh, these, these ideas of conservative economics are really popular these days. And, you know, anything but the reality uh, was good for them. By the way, I love the fact that um, that's common sense is somehow a fundamental critique of, of oh, a good a, idea. Yeah, it's a bad thing, I and suppose. So, <laughs> I mean, what what is the implication of that? It's like you have to find ideas that have no common sense. A good idea would, yeah. make, would make no sense, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, but, you know, the insight was... Uh, politicians are just politicians and government actors and the people that impose macroeconomic policies on us are every bit as self-interested as we are right when we're out there working to feed our families and, and we're we, you know we're trying to maximize our returns and and achieve things that are in our best interest and the you know Buchanan call it politics without romance right yeah and and the entire macro program is based on the assumption that that the people that you give that much power are going to be better and smarter than you are. Well, yeah, and you mentioned and that's both what upset the knowledge problem and the incentive problem. Yeah. And you just look at macro policy, and the, you know that the two meet pretty strongly there. Um, but I also I also think that this this can be not just a, an explanation for why things go bad, but um, a tool and something that you think of as an ingredient for if you want things to get better. Yeah.